this is sad the only thing that was given to my baby upon birth in this country is a notice of birth what's up you guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here if you're new welcome my name is maybe afalabi and i film content on faith marriage motherhood and lifestyle from johannesburg south africa that piece of information is needed in this video because we are doing something related to the country that i live in so i have my first baby or oh, we had our first baby i'm married <laughs> we had our first baby in december of 2022 and i've shown you guys i've taken you guys on that journey if you are new please do well to catch up it's a very interesting journey right so i've taken you guys along and you know recently i did a vlog where i shared how it is very difficult to get a nigerian passport for my newborn i'm nigerian by the way and you know quite a number of people have come to my dm on instagram to say oh maybe why are you trying to get a nigerian passport for juba that's the name of my son if is already a citizen of south africa and i'm like hold up he's not a citizen of south africa south africa don't just give citizenship to anybody <laughs> so i just thought you know instead of answering those people one after the other of course these are people that don't reside in south africa because if you do you're gonna understand that the immigration laws of south africa would humble you any day anytime my son is crying by the way if you can hear him please ignore <laughs> Please ignore. <laughs> that sounded wrong, but yeah, please ignore. If you reside in South Africa, you already know that. Ah, you already know the situation of things in this country. But for people that are asking me, they obviously don't know. So I thought to come and shed more light on the topic, right? I did a little bit of research, and this is all I know about the topic. Okay. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Up until October of 2014. Anybody that has a permanent residence um, permit in South Africa and gives birth to a child in the country, the child automatically attains the status of a citizen. If you have a PR and you have your child in South Africa, your child automatically becomes a citizen of South Africa, right? Up until October of 2014. After October of 2014, that law was cancelled. It was abolished. <laughs> so i'm talking about the child of a foreigner living in south africa so for your child to become a citizen of south africa one of the parents has to be a citizen by neutralization neutralization yeah one of the parents must have attained the status of a citizen by neutralization so it is only then that your child can be a citizen of south africa so in my case I have an accompanying visa. My husband is a permanent resident of South Africa. I have a relative visa on his PR, right? So because of that, if it was 2014 or if it was before October 2014 and we had our baby, he would have been a citizen of South Africa. And because none of us had become a citizen as at the time we gave birth to our child, he could not become a citizen of south africa right so it couldn't be a citizen so obviously my child juba is not a citizen of south africa so what status does the child attain the child of a foreigner attain upon birth nothing <laughs> actually is an illegal immigrant right because now we have to file for an accompanying visa for him right so he's going to have to file for the kind of visa that i have so if they catch him now they can't so that is how he can legally stay in the country legally legally <laughs> that's how he can legally stay in the country so that is why we are trying to get his nigerian passport so we can file for that um visa for him so that is the only way he's permitted to stay in the country as a legal resident occupant <laughs> right so as of now i think it's, it's illegal <laughs> So after he has gotten that accompanying permit and he stays in the country for 18 years, right? He lives in the country for 18 years. He can then file for citizenship. Well, that is what is in the law. That is what the law says. In actual fact, I don't know if he applies like that. In reality, I don't know if he applies or if he works like that. But the law says that after you have stayed in the country for 18 years, you can apply. He can then apply for 
citizenship so upon that he can become a citizen of south africa so you might ask what was then given to him by the south african government upon birth this is sad the only thing that was given to my baby upon birth in this country is a notice of birth not even a birth certificate we didn't even get a birth certificate we got a notice of birth so i'm going to quickly give you guys that story you guys know that i used private healthcare so before delivery they gave us all this plenty plenty form from home affairs to fill we filled the form and me i was even thinking that okay it's going to be a, you know a birth certificate that i was going to get obviously i know that there is no citizenship by birth in south africa i already know that so i wasn't expecting my child to automatically become a citizen of the country but i just hope that i just thought that i mean the least that could happen or the least that you know they can give us or the most the least is a birth certificate but nope we got a notice of birth so after we filled all those forms we submitted, we went into the delivery, baby came, um, they came back, home affairs came, gave us um, a form to fill again, we filled the form. They told us to check back the following day for the document. It was going to be put in the hospital. So, you know, the following day we didn't get it, they didn't come, till we left the hospital, two days later they didn't come, right? So, so we went home, then my husband went back two days after to the hospital to get the um, unabridged birth certificate because that's what they said they were going to get so we went there so my husband went rather to the hospital to get the certificate and upon getting there the nurse that was attending to him they call them sisters in south africa they call nurses sisters so the sister that was attending to him was helping him to check for the certificate so they kept checking and checking the pile of papers on the table until they got to one paper very rumpled it was handwritten and she was like, no, this can be it. He had my baby's name on it. He had Mojupa Folua Falabi on it. The date he was giving birth to and all. But the sister was like, no, this can be it. Even my husband was like, no, now this can be it. Now, uh, this this is just a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, the nurse was like, nah, it can't be it. It can't be it. They came to the conclusion that maybe Omar Fies has not dropped the um, document, right? So he came back home. I won't get him back home. He called my auntie. My aunt and explain to my auntie. My auntie said, "Ah, uh -uh. you just wasted your fuel. That's what you would get. Like that is what they give you." And I was like, "No, auntie, you don't get it. Like it was a rumpled piece of paper. It was a. It was handwritten. It was not cute." <laughs> my auntie said, "That is what you get. That is what you get." <laughs> He was so pissed. My mother was like, my mother was so disappointed. Like, are you for real? Anyway, he didn't go back that same day. He went back the following day to get the piece of paper. When he brought it, even me, I didn't believe it. It was even half done. <laughs> so it was just a notice of birth to say to state his name, the name of his father. I think our, our names are there. I will see if I can put a picture. If he doesn't have any any vital information that I don't want out there, so I will see if I can put a picture. So it was just it was just a wrong put piece of paper with handwritten um it was handwritten, it was not cute, like it wasn't cute at all, and that was all we got for giving birth to my child in this beautiful, beautiful country. <laughs> so I hope that I've been able to answer that question. If you are coming to live in South Africa, definitely you know that your children are not going to become citizens when you give birth to them in the country. They would have to stay up until 18 years for you to, for them to become citizens. And you, if you're coming, if you get a PR, I don't know the number of it. I think they say you can apply for citizenship after five years, even though, again, that is what the law says. It doesn't apply like that in reality it doesn't work like that in reality but you can apply for citizenship after five years and if you have an accompanying visa and you renew you renew your accompanying visa after two years or three years you can apply for citizenship upon the expiration of the second accompanying visa that is what i was told this is what i'm working with right based on the information that I have been told by the visa office that I use, right? If it is different from how it worked for you, it's fine. We don't have to argue in the comment section. It's just the information that I'm working with, that I'm sharing with you, okay? So, thank you so much.
so much guys for watching it's a very short brief video i just really wanted to come out there to say what it is so that i stop getting these dms so we already know that citizenship by birth has been abolished in south africa even though they said that there is a 2023 law that renews that law boy it has not been put in effect so it's not effective as of the time i'm filming this video right thank you so much guys for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any additional information that you think can be useful to us to everybody please share it in the comment section and be nice with your comments be nice with your comments if you're not nice i'm gonna delete your comments <laughs> Till next time I come your way, I hope that you do well and God bless you. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. It goes a long way in helping my channel. Bye guys.